Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the filter node. Now the filter node is basically the same thing as the custom filter node, but it just has your standard presets for convolution filters. So let's jump into Fusion and I will bring in the filter node. So as I said, the filter node does convolution filters, just like we did the other day in the custom filter node, but you don't have to use that matrix to dial everything in and try to figure it out. This one just has a multiple choice to pick the standard uh, filters. But before I do this, I'm going to bring in a background because some of these we're not gonna be able to see unless we have a background. So as you can see, the filter applies uh, standard effects and the default is relief. So up here under the filter type, you have the choice of picking which filter type and we'll go through them. And then right below you have which channels you want to be affected, either your RG, B, or A, or a combination of any of them. Below that you have your power. And these are gonna be a little different on every one, but each one does have like a power and a blend button. But you've got your power, of how much it's applying. And let me play these so you can see. You've got a blend button. And you for this one, for the relief, you've got an angle. Basically, which way the light is coming from. We've got emboss over. And you've got a power and your angle. We've got defocus and we've got a power and blend. And certain effects like this do work better when you're mixing channels. So if I was to turn off the green, now we can see the green channel isn't being a affected by uh, our defocus. Same with if I turned off our red and turned on our green. So playing with these filters and doing different things can have cool results. Well, we've also got Sobel, kind of like uh, how the other day we pulled out the uh, posterized edges. That's what this is doing. And we've got a blend. You've got Laplacian, which is the same thing as Sobel, but it's much finer. And this one looks a little weird because there's a lot of noise in this uh, footage, but it pulls out finer details. So if I zoom in here, you can see what it's doing. And then we have noise. And down here, you've got your power, your blend, your seed of your noise, and down here, if you want to animate it or not. So if I uncheck that, you can see our noise is just static and we can change our seed or I can animate it so it's animated. And then we've got grain, which is close to noise. And it's the same thing. We've got our power, our blend, our seed, and whether I want it to be animated or not. Now, mind you, a lot of these are, are, are cool for different cool effects and everything, but they can be functional also. So probably not on this footage so much since it is so noisy and that's your grain. But if we were to use, say, so well, and I'm going to bring in the Delta Cure. And bring that up and say we want to key some of this stuff out. But one good way would be to pull this edge data so we could use it in with our mask. So we could take this filter and add our bitmap. If we input that into our bitmap, we can grab our luminance. And I'm in the wrong one. If we went from our filter to our bitmap, grabbed our luminance 
and started pulling out that data with our bitmap that we want to keep in there. We could then use this to kind of pump into our Delta Keyer to kind of keep that, that data in our, uh, in our alpha. So this filter has multiple purposes and multiple uh, uses. So that is the filter node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.